And now because I'm so curious, I have to keep going. So we have all those little worms, but it looks like they've already eaten this oatmeal. Let's see what happens. Let's pour some of this oatmeal out. Let's see. Maybe Monet, where are you? Miss Monet, there she is. Okay, would you mind? Would you mind if we poured this out on you? So we can, we'll just turn you over there and we'll pour it out on the back of you. Okay, so we can see what has gone on in here. So our jar of oatmeal, which could have been in there for five years or ten years. I don't know. Interesting though, that all of the little critters, see, this is warm. Of course, it was in the house. All of the little critters seem to have moved out and gone up to this huge mass that they made on top of it. Isn't that incredible? And they've got layers. There are layers and layers. This is just like wraith. Wraith. Homes. Well, as mean and cruel as I may be, I have a real plague of these guys in my house, as you can see. Look at that. So I don't really want to give them a lovely place to live in the house. I just want to investigate how they do it. I've never seen them so, so thick like this. Does it, it appear that they eat when they eat they come up here and and go through this and relax and have their nice warm life? Or are they actually in their cocoon stage? See, they're still going to the bathroom while they're in here. Well, now that is just totally interesting. Now, any bird would be so happy to be able to be the recipient of these little living bugs. So this is about to become the best bird food of the season. Yes, indeed. So, Ashley, Ashley, this is the end of the part two of my favorite thing to do for your contest. I like to play with bugs, not play, but to research them. And then with this, to it I will add some some um, stuff to make it bird food. Or I could just drop it like this into the feeders. They'll love that. Or I could put peanut butter and um, water and fat on there. But for now, this was just the investigation. Okay, bye-bye.